Hello, everyone. Welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco, and my name is Catherine. And today, Marco, we're talking about something that I know you're a big fan of. I am.、Uh, we're talking about computer games, video games. Woohoo! Woohoo!、Um, so yeah, we're gonna be looking at、uh, some vocabulary and phrases related to computer games and video games. And this is actually a request from one of our users. Awesome. So before we get started, we do have the name of the game that we're gonna look at. So let's listen to that in today's vocabulary preview. Vocabulary preview. All right. So the game that we're gonna preview today is called Counter Strike. Okay. So first you have a strike or an attack. Right. And then you have a counter strike. So that's an opposite att- attack or something like that, right? So it's a reaction to the first thing that happens. So、right. you hit me, and my counter strike is I hit you back. Uh huh. And this game is a、uh, is actually very very popular all over the world because many players are able to compete at the same time. So it's a shooting game. You shoot each other. You are the terrorists, and then the the other team is like the police or the army or whatever. Wow, sounds really exciting. <laughs> well, we're going to learn more about the specific vocab that goes with computer games and video games in a minute. But first, let's take a listen to our dialogue. Terrorists win. Mark, where have you been? I've been calling you all morning. I've been playing computer games. What? So you blew me off yesterday and today over a stupid video game. What game is so important that you have no time for me anymore? What are you playing? It's called Counter Strike. It's a first-person shooter game. It's awesome. It's a multiplayer game where you can go online and compete against players from all over the world. You've been wasting your time on this. I can't believe it. It doesn't even look fun or challenging. My laptop is on my bed. If you think it's so easy, then get online and try to beat me. Fine. Damn it! How are you killing me with a single shot? It's not fair. I don't want to play anymore. Let's go get something to eat. Can you bring me something? I'm totally hooked on this game. All right, we're back. So there was some really interesting vocab here, and、uh, so let's look at it now in language takeaway. Language takeaway. Okay, so what kind of a game was this, Marco? All right, this game. Was a FPS, or also in the dialogue we heard a first-person shooter game. So our users might have heard this phrase "first-person" before because it's a grammar term in many ways. Right. We talk about I, I do this, I can sing. That's the first person.、Mm-hmm. But when we're talking about games, first-person shooter means that what you do, you're doing as if you were the character in the game. Right. So even the way that you're looking at the game. It seems like you're looking through the eyes of the character. Okay, so you don't see the body; you are the body you of are the person. The body. Exactly. So first-person shooter. So shooter obviously means that this is a shooting game. What you do is you pull the trigger <laughs> and shoot people. <laughs> exactly. And as we mentioned, a lot of players are able to compete against each other. So it's called a multiplayer game. Okay, so multi is a prefix. It goes at the beginning of a word. In English, that means many. many. So you could hear multicolored、mm-hmm. or multi-ethnic. Right. And the meaning of this is that there are many different colors or many different ethnicities or, in this case, multiplayer, many different players at the same time. Exactly. So in this in this game, you can many players can play whether it's in a local area network or online over the internet. Cool. So you actually have to have the internet, right, when you're doing this because you're using many different computers, so they have to be connected to each other. Right. So, and that's our next word. You go online in order to play. Okay. So online, you've heard before. Online means on the internet, but in this case, the action of using the internet is called going online. So、uh, I want to go online to read my email. Right. Or I can't go online. I don't have a connection. My mom won't let me go online. I'm in trouble. All right. So this is the way that you use it. You go online in order to use the internet. You go online. Very interesting. Well, the last word we've got here in language takeaway is a very important one when we talk about video games because many people are in this situation. They're hooked on video games. Right. So if you are hooked on a video game or you are hooked on anything. 
It means you're kind of addicted or you're very, very interested in something. Exactly. So I'm hooked on the TV show True Blood. I right. love to watch it and I love, I, every day I run home so I can watch <laughs> it. But is there a game that you're hooked on, Marco? Um, currently, I am hooked on a game called Guitar Hero Metallica. Ooh, fun. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. When I borrowed your PS3, I was hooked on Bad Company. <laughs> They're great games. It's very easy to get hooked on video games. Too easy. All right, so that's all the words we have for language takeaway. Why don't we listen to our dialogue again, and we'll be back in a bit. Mark, where have you been? I've been calling you all morning. I've been playing computer games. What? So you blew me off yesterday and today over a stupid video game. What game is so important that you have no time for me anymore? What are you playing? It's called Counter-Strike. It's a first-person shooter game. It's awesome! It's a multiplayer game where you can go online and compete against players from all over the world. You've been wasting your time on this? I can't believe it. It doesn't even look fun or challenging. My laptop is on my bed. If you think it's so easy, then get online and try to beat me. Fine. Damn it! How are you killing me with a single shot? It's not fair! I don't want to play anymore! Let's go get something to eat. Can you bring me something? I'm totally hooked on this game. All right, we're back, and we have a couple of phrases that we want to look at, specifically two phrases. So let's look at those now in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. So what's the deal? You blew me off yesterday, and now you're not even going to say sorry? All right, so blew me off. What, what, do you, what do you mean when you say you blew me off yesterday? Okay, so let's take a look at the, uh, the infinitive version of this phrase. So to blow someone off. Mm -hmm. And they all go together. It's a fixed phrase. Mm -hmm. And this means um, to have an appointment with someone, but to not go. All right. So we had a date planned but he blew me off. Okay. What a jerk. So he didn't go. He, but I went. Did, did he tell you that he wasn't going to go? No. Okay. No. So it's it's a surprise. It's like uh, you expect someone to come meet you or do something with you, but they don't plan, They don't say anything and they don't go. So there's another word very similar to this when it, and it's uh, to stand someone up, right? Exactly. So he stood me up. All he right. didn't come. He blew me off. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, what's our next phrase? To waste your time. All right, so the girlfriend in this case was like, you're wasting your time on these video games. That means you're not getting anything out of this. You're not benefiting. It means that you could spend your time doing other things. Okay, so if you're wasting your time on video games, you're not being productive. Exactly. You're not so, learning anything. So your mother might say to you when you're a kid, don't waste your time on games. You should be studying. Okay. Or he wastes a lot of time watching TV. Mm, that's a common problem. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's listen to this dialogue again real fast, and we'll be back in a bit. Terrorists win. Mark, where have you been? I've been calling you all morning. I've been playing computer games. What? So you blew me off yesterday and today over a stupid video game. What game is so important that you have no time for me anymore? What are you playing? It's called Counter-Strike. It's a first-person shooter game. It's awesome! It's a multiplayer game where you can go online and compete against players from all over the world. You've been wasting your time on this? I can't believe it. It doesn't even look fun or challenging. My laptop is on my bed. If you think it's so easy, then get online and try to beat me. Fine. Damn it! How are you killing me with a single shot? It's not fair! I don't want to play anymore! Let's go get something to eat. Can you bring me something? I'm totally hooked on this game. Alright, so we talked about, you know, being hooked on TV shows and video games. Um, but this is actually a very big problem in some Asian countries specifically, right? I've heard that. Actually, I heard that in Japan, Korea, and China specifically, um, there are psychological treatment centers for kids who are addicted to gaming. Mm -hmm. And so there's a big thing in the news in China recently where, um, where there were parents who were sending their kids to this 
treatment like center? Rehab. <laughs> rehab for games. And that actually they found out that the rehab center didn't know what they were doing and they were giving the kids electroshock therapy wow. to get them off games. Really? So the parents took their kids back. That's scary. <laughs> it is scary. But it, I guess it's a very popular thing in Asian countries specifically, right? To play online, to go online. Um, there's a lot of other factors that that influence this, but um, but I think it is like everything in, ex in excess is, is dangerous. This is true. And... Actually, some people have been using this addiction to be a productive use of their time. So you have some people who play a game called World of Warcraft. Oh, uh -huh, and they win money. And they win money and they sell things to other players all over the world. And right. so you have these kids in America buying toys and like um, shields and, yeah, and gold, gold yeah. from kids in, for example, Indonesia. Right. And the kid in Indonesia is making money. Right, right, right. And also... If they're really good, they go on to become professional gamers and yeah. compete in world competitions and, and also test out new video games. So, yeah, it has its advantages as well. Can you imagine what your business card would look like? Professional gamer. Professional gamer. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Um, we hope you enjoyed this lesson. And, of course, if you have any questions, comments, or doubts, please come to our website, EnglishPod.com, and we'll see you guys there. Uh, until next time, everyone. Bye. Bye.